David here. I got two things I'm really excited about today. A, Bring Me the Horizon Kool-Aid is something that everyone has been telling me to react to. We're finally getting to it. We're months late. It is what it is. I've been really effing busy. Okay. Second of all, this guy. The song you just heard, Keep Me Around, Elliot Thompson. It's on our channel. We're producing a whole record here. We just He just dropped the single last week. Welcome Elliot Thompson. He's going to react to the song with me. Thank you. It's good Elliot, to be here. Give a round of applause for Elliot. Thank you Elliot. so much. I can hear everyone clapping around the world right now. There's so many people. Wow. Um, you guys, check him out. Incredible song. Super talented. He's going somewhere. Help us break him. Thank you, David. Okay. Now, I've heard Bring Me the Horizon a lot. Ellie, uh, uh, we've actually been to see them. They got Jordan um, reached out to me, the, key, the ex-keyboard player who left in 2023. Wow. And we went backstage and they were, they were, it was an amazing show. They were amazingly wonderful people and we had a great time. I've done a lot of their reactions on the channel, so check all those out too. This song, Kool Aid, uh, is the first uh, like batch of songs they did without Jordan in a while. Came out on the 28th of February, 2024. And I think it's the same band except for Minus Jordan. So very excited to check it out. Kool Aid, let's go. Bring me the horizon. Roll it. How a. Let's do it. Okay, that's interesting. Interesting. Society is the ultimate crime against humanity. Yes or no? I mean, it can be. I think society is where the causes of the crime begin. That was terrible. They can, they can, that. <laughs> they can begin there. I mean, it depends how healthy the society is. So, I don't know. I mean, I think there are some societies that uh, that are... Anyway, let's let's watch. I don't know. I don't <laughs> say too much <laughs> at the beginning. Okay, let's. We gotta pause because we gotta talk about some stuff. Elliot, what's your first gut reaction to what you just saw? Because he's never heard "Bring Me the Horizon" before. That Go. was much more intense than I thought it would be. I don't know much about grunge or metal or whatever you classify this as. Okay. It's 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 loud. It's loud. It's, it's loud. Just, they're banging from the beginning, <laughs> from note one, man, and. Uh, I also will say, like, part of this genre is mixing the lead vocal a little lower in the mix because mm. it makes the band feel fuller. When the vocals, like, you know, mix, you know, just check it out. When you guys listen to music, in certain styles of music like this, the vocals usually mixed a little lower so you can feel the power of the drums and the bass and the guitars, like, really... Mm. Uh, it's 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 a it's a kind of a technique that mixing engineers use to make the song feel more powerful in those really loud sections. Interesting. It really is driving like like no other. Mm -hmm. um, I know my ear is adapted to like a, a pop sound, but this is definitely piquing my interest. Yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> And 
because I think the the volume of the lyrics and the fact that they're pretty distorted is help is not helping me understand what what they are what he's saying. But what I'm seeing here is they're, I think they're calling out <clears throat> hypocrisy. I think so too. I think they're just you know kind of elucidating all the troubles in the world in one like amalgamation of a music video. And I think uh-huh. you know it, it's very complemented by the visuals. To post a you know to have a to priest in a strip club is just basically saying, dude, right. what, what, you're not practicing what you preach. Exactly. Yeah. Melody. That's nice. Yeah. See, the melody, I keep coming back to this in a lot of my reactions. Because you have a, this melody could be like a guitar and him singing it like with a piano and a guitar, right. you know, like a really stripped down thing. And the melody would work. Ba, 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 da, da. It's pretty. It's a pretty melody. It is. Yeah. I can see this as like a, a Charlie Puth piano ballad, but instead it's like a hardcore, you know, grunge track that you know keeps on persisting throughout the whole thing and you know i grew up music videos are really important i be i grew up and i was really coming of age in the early 80s when mtv you know and okay and in the and this video is really doing a good job i think of highlighting the meaning of the song mm. the kids are out in the cold right <laughs> look where they are they're <laughs> freezing cold they're not inside they're yeah. outside and that says a lot um, and they're really making just a, you know, the, that first statement, yeah. they really, they really, they're pointing out how society can be so damaging. Right. And get, it, and you know, it might be also an allusion to war and, you know, the, the byproducts of it, because it's not necessary. you may not be necessarily involved in it, but you're caught in the crossfire. And, you know, mm-hmm. that could be a direct reference to everything that's going on in the world right now, you know. Totally. Absolutely. Ab- yeah, we, like, where are the kids? Exactly. They're in it. The innocent kids are stuck paying the price. Out in the cold. Out in the cold. And I got to say, Ollie's voice, I love it. I love his voice. Nice. Yeah. yeah. It's like whether he, he's got such a, uh, a dynamic range, he can be singing the softest, whispery stuff and have it j- just, he means everything he says. He sings, I mean, his vocals live were insane at that show. Yeah. They were unbelievable. Yeah. Uh. Breakdown. Uh-huh. Listen to how loud the snare drum is too. Yeah, I know. The snare drum, like <laughs> that, it's like <laughs> bap, bap. That drum that he's hitting in the on the two and four, bap, yeah. bap. It's called the snare drum. It's a, such a huge part of the rock sound. How you mix that when you mix a song is really, really important to a rock song. How that snare drum sounds, how banging it is, how loud it is, how fat it is. I feel like I can already hear it in concerts. The, hey, hey. Yeah, no, totally. Like, yeah, no, it would be so great live, this song. 100%. That was a ripping Lee. That was a good. That was a yeah. ripping guitar solo. Lee, killing dude. I like that melody a lot. Ah. Go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say I really like how they keep switching back and forth between you know. Uh, Outside, inside? No, I was going to say halftime and... Um, ah. Yeah. Right, so... Jung, jung, ja, gung, 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 ga is halftime. And exactly. Jung, ja, and then jung, sometimes jung, they go to jung, double jung, time. Ja. Yeah, that's a good, really good point. Right, they go back and forth. It's nice. Yeah, I think that Bring Me the Horizon is really great about a lot of the elements that go into making the song a big journey. Yeah, like definitely. They really do take you through a journey, which, I, which is so important into like a three, four-minute song 
there's a lot you got to do in that short amount of time to really take people on 100%. a ride. Yeah. And, you know, my ear, like I said this before, but my ear isn't necessarily adapted to this kind of music, and yet I can still hear the progression. I can still hear how the song goes up and down based on those little changes and those little variations. Yes. And Matt on drums. Wait, one more thing. Matt is killing this Seriously. track. Unreal drummer. <laughs> Yeah, it's halftime time like that. Woo! That's the cop. This was going into some shit like that. Yeah. Man, oh man. They keep doing it, Bring Me the Horizon. They, yeah. just, they just keep... That was very macabre at the end. Exactly. Um, they're very socially oriented, very psychological, very psychologically oriented band, emotionally oriented. Yeah, definitely. And they're just not. They're the, you know what I was going to say when this when I thought it had ended, and it hadn't, was that as as artists as musicians we're trying to use the vehicle of our songs to either express ourselves. Or for social change and, and, and to make a statement. And a lot of times it's both. And in this case, I think Bring Me the Horizon, they've got a really strong conscience. They got a they want they see the injustices in the world and they wanna help they want their music to get out there and help 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 society. Yeah, definitely. Know? And I think something else that they brought up, this might not have been what exactly they're expressing, but based on, you know, the scenes with the the stripper and the and the priests, um, is sort of illuminating the fact that, you know, not making commentary, I guess, not just about society, but as us as individuals, how, you know, despite whatever facade of positivity or, you know, righteousness that we put on, our internal desires and lust can eventually corrupt us. And I guess in the video, they ended up dying. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. End of story. I mean, so, you know, the uh, the other thing is you can see... Um, you can see how this guy thinks. We didn't rehearse any of this. He just came in and was like, all right, let's just do this today. <laughs> Please check out his song, Keep Me Around, that's on a channel. It's an awesome song. I'm okay. telling you guys, check it out right now. Go play it. Listen to it. Give it some comments. Give it some likes. Give it some love. In the next year, we're making a whole record here. We're already recording another, uh, the next song, which is such a great song. It's so awesome. Anyway, I'm really excited to work with this guy. And um, and uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications, and leave comments. We love you guys. We love you. Bring me the horizon, fans, because you helped build our channel, and we love you guys. Love these guys. And that was great. That was a killer song. I want to yeah. like, I want to read the lyrics. I want to hear what they're talking about. It made me more interested in, uh, in the band. Definitely. And how do you feel about them the first time you heard them? You today? know what? I'm, I'm probably not going to listen to it again, but I'm glad I listened to it. And I'll be happy to listen to anything else you have to show me in the future. Awesome. Elliot, thank you for being here. Thank you so much. And you guys have a musical day. Peace. Bye-bye. Love you.